this is Matt for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined once again by MBE Johnny Nelson. Don't get old, that does it. Look at you, glint in the eye. Jeez. You know what? It, it doesn't. You know what? This happening in Sheffield as well. The, the creation of this in Sheffield. I was. I saw these boys when it first started from day dot, and they were hit. Doors are closing left, right, and centre for them. Now you've got all six team over there. <laughs> you've got. You've got. Uh, boxers team, you've got um, everybody and anybody that's involved in old school and new school. Joe Gallagher over there, it's just, they know what, they, they know. I don't know how he's done it, but he's got more there. When you look at this city, it's a fighting city, yourself, longest reigning cruiserweight champion, you like to say Prince Nassim, the legacy of Brendan Ingle, which I know is dear to your heart, and now they've created a video game, which boxing fans, boxers themselves have been waiting over a decade for, and I've already played Sonny Edwards, it was absolutely pasting me on it. But, very lifelike, unbelievable graphics. How excited, even if you don't play it, it must be something that you're proud to be a part of that fraternity. Well, I did the com comms on it, uh, oh. so I know, it's funny, man, it's funny. Uh, so we try to style it out a bit, give it a bit of funk and soul on it. So, uh, so when you get it and the volume's down and you're by yourself and you, you can hear it all, it's a good little vibe, man. Every fight has got a little something, but uh, the graphics are unbelievable. I don't play these games, but all my nephews, and nieces have been going mad about this for, for years, saying, when's it out, when's it out? And, and then I've just seen it, I'm thinking, it's a different world. Well, you won one of the fight nights. Is this, sorry, you were, I'm two. I've got, I'm, so I'm actually the young version and the older version. Yeah. So, uh, so I don't, I don't know how to do it. And play. you made it to this one in full clarity, HD, 4K. Don't know what's happening. No, I don't know what's happening. So, uh, honestly, I think they've done a really good job. They've got a real good collection of people here, massive investors that have got behind this. Looking around here, you know, this is probably going to be something really big. In a few years' time, you know, this company will be worth so much, you know, spent so much on this. They've done really good. Absolutely. Right, I've got to talk to you about actual boxing now, not, um, not gameplay. Um, this interview will go out tomorrow, but I feel it's a bit wrong we don't talk about it. And Niyar's got the fight of his life tonight against an animal in Better Behave. But boxing, these things happen, and Anthony Yard will feel the timing is right for him tonight. What do you make of this fight? How do you see him winning? What happens? Anthony Yard's got a massive heart, massive self-belief. No matter what, to the last minute of the last round, they'll dig in so, so hard. I actually think that uh, Yard's got a good chance. He's got a good chance, but it's a tough, tough, tough fight. And if he pulls off the win, trust me, the only people that think Yard's going to win right now are probably his promo. And I, I actually saw an interview with Frank, and Frank just said it's going to be a hard fight. He didn't say, my man's got this definitely. So Yard, his team, they'll give it their all. And you know what? That's how you get surprises. Is it an upset? We don't know. But I'll tell you one thing, I think Yard can show a good account of himself no matter what. When you think what Andy Yard's been through, I know everyone bangs on about the level of opponents he's been in with, but he had a torrid time through COVID. He lost multiple family members. He then suffered a loss in the ring, ran it back. He sort of, there's a feeling from him that, you know what, the timing is now. That can happen in boxing, can't it, though? It can happen in boxing. Some fighters do it in the third attempt. Some fighters do it in the, in the fourth attempt, Frank Bruno, I should say. <laughs> uh, but what I'm saying to you is this, I think... Yard is, is, is learning his trade, he's having to, to, to get his stripes in the eye of public. So when the good times happen and the bad times happen, the public have got to see this. So he'll be judged. Eventually his time will come. And actually his hardest learning fights are now. His time will come as long as he sticks out and stays persistent. I've got to ask you about this fight. It got announced yesterday. Tommy Fury, Jake Paul. I believe they're facing off actually in the ring later on the uh, yard undercard. I believe they're going to do a little thing there. What do you make of it? Jake's sort of trying to make that crossover and say, look, I've been asking for a professional fighter. I've got Tommy Fury. Tommy not got, Tommy's not got a big amateur background, but he's learning on the job as well. Talk to me about it. I, I rate Jake Paul. I rate him. He's a novice. He's a novice that's an, an unbelievable businessman. That, 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 that's got himself, he gets world championship status in regards to what he gets paid in regards to the platform he's got, in regards to the, 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 the following he's got. So you've got to look, uh, you've got to rate his business and his business mind. Now as a fighter, he's a novice. He's not like most of his YouTubers that can't fight. He can actually fight. So now, and he's got himself a ranking. Right, so now he's thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm coming, I'm getting involved. Now his talk is big and right now he's doing what most fighters do, which is, he's talking a great, a great fight. But against Tommy Fury, 
Will this be his acid test? We don't know. Tommy Fury not, not played that game. Tommy Fury is a boxer. Um, but so was, uh, and, you know, you look at uh, Ansel Silva, you thought, nah, he's not going to do him. Anderson was old. He was old and, 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 and Jake Paul did it. Yeah. Now, Tommy Fury's got to go in there and put, shut this guy's mouth. He's got to go in there and show him the difference between fighter and fake. And whoever loses is the fake. Whoever wins is the fighter. To me, I think it's a good match. I think it's, I, I do not think it's a done deal. I think Jake Paul rated massively. Talk to me about the pressure on Tommy Fury, the pressure from Tyson, the pressure from John. They're saying, look, you don't win this fight. <laughs> That's it. It's, a, it's huge, isn't it? He's sort of carrying a bit of boxing on his back a bit for someone who is a novice in the game. So it's going to get to the point where the YouTubers that transferred over to the boxing uh, ruled, they're eventually going to be found out. There's a young guy called Ty Mitchell. Ty oh, Mitchell. Wow, by the Ty way. Ty Mitchell stepped into that world now. Oh, He's calling them all out. Is he doing that? He's calling them all out. So what I'm saying to you now is, if you are a, a YouTuber, if you are Jake Paul, KSI, stay away from Ty Mitchell because he will tear you a new ass. This guy will rip you to shreds. And this guy can fight. So if you want to dip your toe in that water and you look at Ty's record and think this guy's done nothing, don't be mistaken. Ty Mitchell spars with the best Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. So then you can think, you know what? I'm going to fight Tyson Fury's sparring partner. Fight him. See what happens. But I'll tell you one thing. That's the guy you want to keep an eye on. And if given the chance, it's going to, to grasp with both hands. So when Jake Paul's talking about fighting a fighter, that's someone that's got one half foot in, half foot out. Ty Mitchell's a guy. So after Tyson, so after Tommy Fury, let's see that. That, that, that he will have my ultimate respect fighting Ty, uh, Ty Mitchell and if he beats him Jesus getting in the ring with him is a, a, a bit the biggest hat let's be honest anyone who knows Ty Mitchell they ain't gonna go nowhere near him I know he's trying to cross into that world but I mean I'd be worried I would be worried about one of them YouTube. Ty YouTubers. Mitchell is the only fighter that has a reputation that he has without having a big crook without ever doing anything in professional boxing. Ty Mitchell is that guy and he stepped into that world now. It's going to take somebody to have the cojones or, uh, to say, let me do this, or be too stupid and think, I'll deal with him. If you get past Ty Mitchell, you've done well. Absolutely. Well, look, Johnny, it's an impressive event, but it's a bit of a gathering, so I'm going to let you enjoy your night. Thanks for talking to Boxing Social and me again. We will catch up very soon. Free food, free bar. I'm gone. <laughs>